Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hawksnest here back with another video. Now in today's video, basically we're doing a speed art. Now, if you guys know the channel, Benny Productions, I recently found him, which is surprising because I should have followed him like ages ago. But anyway, he makes really good content around Photoshop and just different design techniques and whatnot. And again, I binge watched his channel over the past like two days and I got really inspired to just try my own edits and kind of see what I learned from him. So I booted up Photoshop, taking one of the photos that I took recently with Godzi. I actually did an entire video about that photo shoot. It was just kind of us kind of testing some stuff so if you guys want to watch that video about how we got uh, the photo that we'll be working with today definitely check that video the thumbnail will be on the screen right now and link it down below but anyway i just took that photo and basically tried to see what i could come up with and just trying to manipulate it and do my very first photo manipulation uh recently i haven't used photoshop as much as i'd like to i only really use it for like thumbnails and i thought this would be just kind of a, a cool experiment to see what i was capable of with like a uh, photo manipulation and light lighting adjustments and just stuff like that so i recorded the process of me basically taking Taking myself and turning it into a cooler version of myself I guess and inside of this video basically I'll just be talking about exactly what I was doing and why I was doing it as it's actually being done if you guys enjoyed this video definitely let me know down below I'd love to do videos like this all the time because I love doing Photoshop and creative stuff but without further ado let's just go ahead and get right into it so the very first thing I did basically was just mask out myself I actually ran into two different issues with this while I was doing it um, my Photoshop actually crashed and then I had to like reboot it up and do it again and then my Photoshop crashed again but this time I was able to save my path like me cutting my myself out essentially so I was able to start from where I left off but this is basically just a super simple process just use the pen tool and cut yourself out one thing that I also did because this is such a dark photo and it was really hard to see um, what is background and what was like my black jacket uh, I just used a levels layer and just jacked up the levels so it was super bright so that I could actually kind of see where this was one thing though is if you do this make sure you don't do this on the light parts only do this on the dark parts because if you do it on the light parts it kind of messes up where you should be cutting out you'd have to actually experience what I'm talking about to see that anyway yeah don't really do that except for the dark parts but yeah super simple we just cut myself out at this part then basically I just spent some time correcting some of the minor flaws uh, in the cut and adding some like the hairs on my hands and stuff just get some of the finite detail back as well as just making the canvas a little bit bigger because I really didn't know what I wanted to do or what the final product would look like so I just gave myself basically a lot of room to work after that I spent a while just trying to brainstorm what I wanted this to look like and I finally decided on having me kind of stand in an alleyway with something behind me at this point I didn't really know what it would look like in the alleyway but I just knew I wanted to have some kind of alleyway look so so I signed up for Envato Elements basically so I could just download some photos and different assets for uh, future projects and then obviously this one and I settled on this photo of an alleyway right here which just seemed like it would fit the perspective of uh, where my camera was really well and it would also just kind of uh, give me a lot of room to work on with having a clear sky in the back and a very clear perspective looking right down the alleyway then after that basically I tried to get some perspective by drawing a little stick man and some lines on the road to see what it would look like if someone was a little closer to the camera and then I tried to do that in a more complicated way and then I just realized that wasn't going to work very well and I'd be able to just do it by eye a lot better oh and also I removed the bird then I just spent some time blacking out the sky and making it match everything else then at this point, I wanted to spice up the background a little bit, make it look a little bit more neon. So I found some Chinese night market signs. I don't know exactly what they say or anything, but they look cool. So I decided to kind of throw them on the back. Also, the original photo matched the perspective of this one pretty well. So they were able to fit in without much adjustments. Then after that, I decided to add some stars in the sky just to kind of emphasize the night feel. Uh, and then I wanted to add one more Chinese sign, but I didn't really like that one. Uh, and then right after that, we did some glow just to kind of make the signs look a little bit more neon and have a little bit more shine to them, which really accentuates the neon look a ton. After that, I put myself in and did a levels adjustment to the background to make it fit and decided on kind of the framing of the photo. Then I got into the lighting. Basically, my goal here is to make the neon lights have a little bit of glow on the side of me. This was actually my first time ever trying fake lighting, so definitely was a learning curve for me and I was learning as I went. Then basically, I just added some red light and highlights in the background just so it seems like there's a red light to match the light that was on my face and my jacket. After that, I downloaded a city skyline that looked pretty bright and then cut out the sky to make it fit. Uh, then basically just added some lighting and like shadowing to kind of make it all fit together, as well as layering the different uh, levels of the skyline to have some separation between them. Then basically I decided to add this really big like flare or a glow or light or whatever you want to call it uh, that was coming out of like the main building just so it kind of added more to the, the futuristic feel. And then I just adjusted some of the lighting to make it look a little bit more realistic as I did notice it didn't really fit in super well. Again, first time trying to do fake lighting like this, so kind of learning again as I go. Then I decided to add a Tesla sign, which later I realized was pointless because I'm going to blur the background anyway, but I thought it would just look cool and kind of fit the theme. 
After that, I was just doing some adjusting, basically just splitting the different buildings so that I'd be able to blur them separately because they are at different levels of depth. And then also I just gave myself kind of a shadow in the background, something really subtle, just cause there's that forward light, as well as adding a little bit more glow on the signs and a little bit of a glow from the sign onto the wall uh, next to it. Then I got into the blurring phase, basically just blurring all the separate pieces with a lens blur. Now I did think of doing a uh, tilt shift, which is basically blurring at different like levels, uh, but that was way more difficult to find out how to get working exactly and it made a harsh edge wherever there was any kind of cut so I just decided to go with a lens blur and I just did all the individual pieces so that it would come together really nicely then after that I decided to add a little smoke element in the background just to kind of add some ambience in it and then I also made it look red because obviously the red lighting would pick up on that smoke then when I thought everything looked pretty nice I decided to go over the whole thing and just add a little bit more light to wherever there was some color then I took the whole thing and threw it into camera raw filter and just did a bunch of different effects to make it look well there was no really rhyme or reason to what I was doing I was just adjusting the sliders until I found what I wanted I did try to add a little bit of blue in the shadows to make it look cinematic I bumped up like the texture and the clarity uh, just so it looked a a little bit more sharp I guess and had a little bit nicer shadows I don't know exactly what those two do but it makes it look really cool so bump those up um, bump down the blacks a little bit bumped up the whites a little bit more just to, again add a little bit more contrast uh, and adjusted the colors and obviously added a little bit of grain as well which takes us to the final piece so here was the before and here is the after okay so I'm now realizing that I should have done something to the watch so let's do that right now Okay, so I was going to commentate while I was actually doing it, but I was really focused and kind of forgot I was recording. But anyway, while I was doing the watch, the idea was to kind of create a projection. I was going to do something on the watch, but that wouldn't be futuristic because an Apple Watch could really show anything. Uh, the only way I could really make it futuristic is by having it show like a, a, a hologram or something. So that's kind of what I went for. Um, I thought a hologram would have kind of like the projector line, so there'd be something connecting it. Uh, but the farther I got into this, the more I realized the simpler, the better. Really, all I needed was a nice um, screen to put on. So I just did this like little map or something and then some nice lighting so that's when i really got the look that i was looking for and then the camera really tied everything together and yeah i think this actually came out pretty decently and i think i did the the whole watch thing in like probably 30 minutes probably but yeah anyway let's go ahead and cut to me when i did the outro earlier so let me know what you guys thought of this piece. I think it came out pretty well. There is definitely things I could improve on, like the lighting, the fake lighting on like the edges and everything and just getting everything to match up really well. But I think the background came out pretty well. It looks good unblurred and then the blur really added a lot of effect to it, but I definitely don't want to rely on blurring the background every time. So I'm going to try to improve on making everything look nice. And then hopefully in the future, I could do things where it isn't a blurry background and it still looks very realistic. But with all that being said, let me know if you guys want to see videos like this in the future and I will see you guys later. Oh, also sub if you want to see videos like this in the future. But yeah, see you guys later. Peace.